Welcome to our tutorial about editing macros. I'm going to pick up where I left off in a previous tutorial. I'll add a user form to my macro first. First, let's take a moment to clarify some of our code. Here we've got the x and y coordinates for the first point. They're 1 and 4. The second point is 4, 2. The coordinates for the third point are 6, 4. Let's go to Insert, select User Form. Let's stretch it out a little bit. We'll need it to be a little bigger to be comfortable. And let's bring in three labels from our control toolbox. Now let's bring in six text boxes. These are where users will be able to enter the X and Y coordinates for each line. Lastly, we'll need a button. Now we're ready to caption and label our controls. Let's start with label 1. I'm going to caption it point 1. Label 2. I'll caption it point 2. And label 3. You guessed it. This will be point 3. And let's just align these a little bit better. OK, now we're going to name our text boxes. We'll call the first one txtx1. Here's txtx2. We'll call this box txtx3. Let's name the boxes for the y coordinates txty1. TXTY2 and TXTY3. Lastly, let's recaption the command button. Let's caption it Go. Now I'm going to change the value property for the text boxes as well. I'll do this so that the required input is clear to the user. The left-hand column will have an initial value of x and last x. And in the column of text fields on the right, I'll use an initial value of y. And last y. Let's double-click the Go button. Here are our wrapper lines. Let's declare a couple variables first. Dim dblx1 as double right click, copy, paste, paste, paste. We need six of these. And here's our last one. Okay, now let's change the name of the variable x2, x3. Here we need y1, y2, and y3. We're ready to go to the next line. dbl x1 equals cdbl, open parenthesis, txt x1, dot text, close parenthesis. The cdbl function converts a string to a double. Let's right click, copy and paste that. Paste. Again paste. Let's change the x1 value to x2, 2 there as well. Here we need 3, and 3 here as well. Now right click and paste. We need six of these, so we've got one more to do. Let's change the x value here to y. There's y2. And here's y3. y2 and y3. Next, let's go to our module. 
I'm going to right click and cut. Now let's right click and paste it here. OK, let's replace the argument literals with the variables we just created. Paste. And again, paste. Here we'll enter 2 and 3. Right click, copy, paste. Let's do the same here. Paste and paste. Y2, Y3. Back to our module. User form 1, period, show. This line brings up user form 1. Let's actually add some lines of text here. User form 1 dot hide. This line of code hides user form 1. We're ready to run our macro. Let's check it out. Run VBA macro, select my macro, click run. And here's the user form. Let's enter the coordinates for point 1, 2, and 6 in the y direction. For point 2, We'll have 4 in the x direction, 4 in the y direction. For point 3, we have 6 in the x direction and 6 in the y direction. Press Go. Our polyline displays in model space with user form 1 hidden. This concludes our tutorial about editing a macro.